Hey, welcome to Enduro 360. I'm Chili White. Thanks for tuning in. We have something new today. We something we just started testing. So let's take a sneak peek at 2011 Beta 450RR. As many of you know, Beta has been on the scene here in the U.S. for a number of years now, and are really most noted for having used KTM RFS motors 400, 450, and 525s in their bikes for a number of years. Last year, Beta debuted a whole new bike, including a new motor, which is all their own. So uh, this is it. This is uh, their new offering. It's the first time I've had a chance to spend any time with it. And so let me show you just a little bit about it. The very first question I get from almost everybody when I talk to them about the Beta is, Oh, so that, have, that has KTM motor in it, right? Lots of people just haven't had enough of these around and got to see them enough to know them to, to really know that they do have their own motor out these days and that it is really a very different bike than the previous generation Betas. The red frame that's a I think that's a love it or hate it feature uh, I kinda like it personally but a couple of my buddies have looked at already and like ew I'd hate that. For me one of the real joys about all of the European dirt bikes particularly the enduro bikes is the uh, the top of the line components so let's take a look at what we got here nissan front brakes braking rotor in fact that's a floating rotor excel wheels this comes with pirelli tires the tires we've got on here are some motocross tires this comes oem with some fim legal tires but actually i know i've used those and i know they're pretty good um, one of the biggest things to look at right here marizoki fork this is a 50 millimeter twin chamber unit uh, twin chamber design on the Zokes is a little bit different than like the WPs. It doesn't use an actual air bladder. It's a little different configuration that bleeds off oil. And here is their motor. Um, it's it's pretty interesting. It's a, it's kind of large looking, but uh, it's it's pretty modern also. Kian FCR carb. No no fuel injection yet for this thing. Nice aluminum side stand, big beefy pegs, nice aluminum shift lever there. Um, that swing arm, that is definitely very KTM looking. O-ring chain, aluminum sprockets. Again, pretty much top of the line stuff all the way around. Get around here again to the brakes. Same thing, braking rotor, Nissan rear caliper. There's a good shot of the linkage. Pretty standard looking fare. This exhaust, I'm not quite sure who makes it. I have to look at this. This thing is whisper quiet. Uh, haven't really spent much time on the bike yet, but that's the very first thing that I noticed was how quiet the bike is. Suspension there in the back, we've got a sack shock. Tank's kind of smallish, under two and a half gallons. Pretty beefy clamps. It's kind of nice. They got a three position mount here. I've actually got those things pushed all the way forward. Um, switch gear, so we get Domino throttle, Nissan master cylinder for the brake, nice odometer unit, and then the AJP hydraulic clutch. AJP, that's the same as used on gas gas and many, many trials bikes. Um, light and kill switch, starter over here on the right hand side. So it's just a push button eject on the seat here to pull it right off. Um, there we can see the battery, air filter. Of course, this is a side removal panel. Again, similar to the KTM for the airbox. A little bit of a tight fit in there, but looks like they got all squeezed in pretty good. Okay, so there we go. There's a quick first look at the 2011 Beta 450RR. Definitely anxious to get out and start racking up some miles on this thing. Uh, 
I have some high hopes for it. It's it's a true enduro bike, which is you know that's really what I personally am always looking for. I, you know, I, I like that wide erasure transmission, that smooth throttle response, and uh, and a bike that's just good at doing everything. So stay tuned.